So yesterday, uh, actually the, the day before, I was looking into this documentary. I don't know how I ran into it, but I ran into it. It was kind of interesting, uh, but confusing too. You know? Uh, because I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Like, like who's saying what or whatever. The documentary is called Zoo. And uh, it was about this guy, or they were talking about this guy, who got butt fucked by a horse, and then he died because the horse, which obviously a stallion, has a humongous cock. Right? I mean, look, me personally, as a homo, anything above six inches is like you're asking for trouble. For me personally, I know there are many, many size queens out there. Uh, many homosexuals who love big cock, like 12 inches, you know, big black cocks inside of them. Uh, which is fine. I, I don't judge on that. But because of my comfort level, I mean, I mean look, my, my ex was probably like eight, eight and a half inches. Uh, he was huge, but, you know, I mean, whenever I slept next to him naked, like, like I feel like a girl because he had a huge... Wang, and my dick is only like two inches. So, if you look at us naked, you'll be like, "Wait a minute, this is a straight couple." <laughs> I do have moobs though, so if I'm naked, you you'll see my moobs and my and my and my clitoris. That I think it's a penis, <laughs> uh, but I I I saw this documentary Zoo about the, you know this guy that uh, was a. Uh, but fucked to death by a horse. And the horse was... How big is a horse's cock, by the way? Like, in, in inches. Uh, it's like 25 inches, I think, of cock. I mean, it's massive cock. I mean, it's fucking military cock right there, man. It's military grade. <laughs> um, but... The video of the, of the incident, though, where he died... Is out in the internet somewhere. And I, I I don't know if I should look at it. I Okay, fine. Let's look at it. <laughs> what was his name? I think is Mr. Happy Hands. I think. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, that was his nickname. Mr. Happy Hands. Video. Oh, Mr. Hands. Okay, I got it. Mr. Happy Hands. I thought because he likes to jerk off the horse. <clears throat> that sounds pretty cool. <clears throat> uh, let's see if I can find it here. Uh, I don't know if I want to... Uh, okay, fine. Let's just play it and get it over with. What? Okay, here it is. What is this? Oh, here it is. Holy shit. Whoa! That's a big old cock. Ugh. Oh my god. He's really getting nailed there. Ah! Oh. Wow. I mean, how do you get... I mean, I know that you were like... Saying to yourself, I have a huge animal cock inside of me, and it's and it's hot and everything. But 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 what 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 is the what gets you? I mean, what I mean, the horse was only fucking him for like a few seconds. I thought it this one for hours. <laughs> See, I I'm telling you that you know how many Mexican men. Uh, you don't know, but I know many Mexican men. Uh, compare themselves to horses. Oh, I'm a stallion. I'm a big cock. Masculine, you know? 
But because I've seen horses fuck other horses, and they don't last that long, these horses, right? Like a few seconds, and that's it. Wham, wham, wham. Boom. Done. But for... But in this case, Mr. Hens was done. <laughs> he was done with. Wow. I don't know. I mean, how do you get turned on by this? How do you... Get, how, I mean, like, when I see a human... Like, when I see a man, which is another human being, um, I get turned on because of his personality, because of the way he looks, and... Uh, I don't know normal things, I guess, because a heterosexual would uh, also be having the same type of feelings but towards a girl. But you cannot have those kinds of feelings towards an animal, right? I mean, you can't really say, oh, yeah, I like the way that he looks at me. <laughs> he, the horse doesn't give a shit. He just has a heart on and wants to get off. And so, um, you know. And uh, during the uh, documentary, uh, they were talking about how because of this incident, when Mr. Hans died, he made a huge media spectacle about this. Look, this shit happens all the time. In Mexico, it's actually the other way around. In Mexico, you have a lot of men who have sex with sheep, with goats, with, uh, with cows, I mean, it's so prevalent, this bestiality in Mexico, that uh, my mother told me of this story that was being told, like this this, this urban myth about these uh, couple of drunk guys that were out in the field and they found a, uh, you know, they found a cow and they were horny, <laughs> right? Uh, they had a huge boners. And so they had to get rid of it, and they found the cow, and they fucked the cow. And they were drunk. And then the story goes that a few months later, the cow had a half-human. Hey, get this, a half-human, half-cow baby. Which is, of course, not impo- not possible at all. It, it's, it, it'll never happen. No matter how many times you fuck a cow, cow cannot, cannot be inseminated by another species. Although you can try probably uh, in the lab somewhere and uh, mix the the DNA. But as far as fucking a cow, no, a cow will not have a half human, half cow baby, okay? But <laughs> some of these people actually think that that myth is real and that there is a man cow somewhere <laughs> uh, prowling in the woods, going to eat your babies. You know, they came up with the story so they can stop all that bestiality that was going on. That's why they came up with that myth. But it, it really didn't stop any of the bestiality. In Mexico, you see it everywhere. You, especially in Tijuana, you, you can fuck a donkey or get fucked by a donkey. And, and the donkeys have the bigger dicks than, than uh, or, do, or the mules probably. No, donkeys have bigger cocks than uh, horses. Um, but... You know, I don't care about bestiality. It doesn't turn me on. It's not, you know, it's it's like scat. You know, there are people that are into that shit. But what you're doing is you're fetishizing an animal, right? Uh, the way I view it is that, hey, as long as there's no cruelty to the animal, I guess it's fine. And believe me, the horse is not being treated with cruelty in that video. He's enjoying himself pretty much. <laughs> And when they made this, the uh, the uh, Washington State, this is, that's where it happened. The state banned bestiality. Oh my god! Uh, made it a criminal act. Why? What's wrong with it? <laughs> in Mexico, it's a tradition. Uh, but in Mexico, we don't consider it a sexual orientation. And it's just you know things that drunk guys do when they're horny. You masturbate. Uh, you have your choices. If you're drunk, you're horny, and the chicks don't want to fuck you that night, then what you do is you either find an animal like sheep or cow or a mule, or you fuck and you fuck it, or you find a transgender, yeah, and then you fuck the transgender, 
if you, but if you can't find either of that, then you get a gay guy, which they're always available, and then you get a blowjob from a gay guy. That's Mexico. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but, um, you know, these people that are talking about uh, bestiality, you know, they're saying, wait a minute, the animal doesn't can't consent. I'm like, wait a minute. First of all, when we kill animals to eat, like cows and horses, yes, we even kill horses. We have horse meat that's also sold in the markets. How can you say that when you're pleasing an animal sexually that that's wrong because it cannot consent, but yet you, you can kill it and eat it? <laughs> that's okay. Right. Like an animal can consent to that shit. Fuck. Stupid animal rights activists. Ah, they can blow me. Blow me! <laughs> or blow a cow, I guess. I don't care. Uh, but, yeah, it, it was a very interesting story. Very interesting story. Uh, sad story, you know. The, the guy had to die. And the guy was actually... Uh, an engineer for Boeing. So he was a pretty smart guy. And he's just, he had a lot of problems. And most of these people, like, I can understand if you're drunk and you're horny and you fuck a sheep. I mean, that happens all the time. But if you, like, these guys were not just fucking around just to have a good time, you know, and because they're horny. They are, they actually have, like, this sexual relationship with with animal, with these animals, with with, with 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 these horses, and I'm like, how can you have a relationship with an animal, right? Is is it the same thing with these stupid airheads that talk about? Ooh, dolphins are smart. Dolphins have intelligence. No, they don't. Fuck you. It's a fish. Get over yourself. Dolphins are smart. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever seen a dolphin uh, engineered and build a fucking uh, skyscraper? No. Shut up. <laughs> fucking nonsense. And I've seen videos, by the way, of dolphins fucking each other, killing each other, uh, uh, cannibalizing each other. And, you know, I mean, they're pretty brutal animals, by the way. And uh, the orcas, right? Oh, save the orcas. Save the oh, fuck that. What do you think they call the orcas a killer whale? Because they kill. Oh, but they're intelligent. They're just like humans. Oh, fuck you. And I, I hate it when I hear these people say, oh, but dolphins are smarter than humans. No, they're not. No, they're not. If the dolphins are able to crawl out of the fucking sea and grow some legs, and um, believe me, if, if they're able to be like us, like, uh, like humans... They're going to be doing wars and, and beating each other up and killing each other just like humans, I guess. But they're, they're not going to be smarter than us. They're not. Fuck this. They're animals, okay? They're not fully conscious. And I know you're, you're going to bring up studies and some other shit, but look. These are animals, okay? And I just find it kind of ridiculous that... We are making laws to protect animals. Laws are meant to protect humans, not animals. I'm sorry, it's a human law. It's part of uh, human nature. The law of human nature, I guess you can say. The real one, not the fake one that homophobes use. But uh, look, we use animals for, uh, for so many things, like for uh, medical testing and all that. Hey, you know, many medical miracles have been performed Thanks to testing on animals. And I know there are many of these uh, quacktivists out there that are like, oh, the animals are people too. <laughs> no, they're not. Sorry. And there are a lot of those kinds of people in the gay community too. And it's funny that you have... Um, conservatives saying oh in the gay community there are people who love bestiality no 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 real bestiality is when you just fuck a sheep or you fuck an animal for your pleasure you know but these 
guys that are fucking these horses or getting fucked by the horse, they're not fucking the horse. They're getting fucked by the horse. Their pleasure is that they're giving pleasure to the animal, and they have this weird, psychotic, sexual relationship with these animals. I'm like, what? That's not normal. No, it's not. Uh, usually, humans can only relate to other humans emotionally and sexually, not other animals. Animals don't give a shit. <laughs> you know, it's kind of it's kind of delusional. But if you look at these guys that were in the documentary that fucked horses or get fucked by horses, actually, uh, they all say, "I was divorced. My wife divorced me. I can't relate to humans." Yeah, there's something wrong with you. And it's funny that one of these, actually, one of these guys say, oh, but we're all conservatives. Like, because it, it's actually a group of four or five guys that get together at this farm and then they f- get fucked by horses. And like, we, we talk conservative politics, like, like they're conservatives. I can tell because usually reactionary conservatives, Republicans, teabaggers, they hate humans, other humans. They don't like to relate to humans as much as they would, uh, as much as they need to, right? So they don't empathize with humans. They, they uh, Conservatives don't have that human empathy, the human connection. So what they do is they get animals, like uh, dogs and stuff. They, they're the ones who adopt more dogs. Actually, that's true. Conservatives are the ones who are adopting dogs and all that. Uh, not cats. They find cats to be Democrats. <laughs> they only adopt dogs. Dogs are man's best friend, yeah, because a dog uh, obeys your every order, <laughs> right? And that's how conservative conservatives view themselves, like, we're the masters, we can control, uh, you know. And that's how they view other people who are of, 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 of the lower class. They view us as dogs, basically. And that's the way they want to control us. And that's the way I think, that, you know, because of what they say, how they behave with other human beings. I mean, these conservatives, these teabaggers, these, you know, Cook brothers, they don't relate to other humans. They can't. They have no empathy. And that's why they turn to animals. And in a way, it's kind of like a bestial thing for them. They don't have sex with animals. But instead of having a normal relationship, social relationship with other human beings and have a social interaction with human beings, they prefer social interactions with animals because animals are not smart enough to challenge them. <laughs> See, that's the thing. So, but anyway, the documentary was pretty cool. I recommend it, though it's a little confusing. I had to go start it all over again because I couldn't know who was talking. It's just, it's hard to tell, but, you know, they made it like, you know, my other beef is like, it's, it's kind of a, like a dark movie. It's all dark, even though it's daylight. And, uh, like, they blacked out the scene, like, the one I just saw where the uh, the horse is fucking the guy. And, uh, you know, they kind of beat around the bush. They don't say, oh, yeah, we're having sex with a horse. Just say it. Just say, look, here's a guy. Look, he's getting butt fucked by a horse. There. And here's what happened. He bled to death from his colon. Wow. Everybody just... Uh, Take a look at that. <laughs> um, but pretty interesting stuff, I would say. Um, uh, it was a good documentary, but there were a few things that, you know, should have fixed. Anyway, it's called Zoo. Look it up. Pretty cool.